Hey everybody, hope you're doing really well. It's my mum's birthday today, so I thought I'd vlog our day today because we've got a nice day. How many times have I said day in one sentence? We've got a nice day planned for her today. I just said it again, for God's sake. <laughs> but yeah, no, we've got a nice day planned for her. I can't take the word day seriously anymore. I'm gonna make her a strawberry and cream Victoria style cake. And with the cake, I'm gonna do a sparkling afternoon tea. So I'm gonna make a load of little sandwiches and put them on cake stands. And we're gonna have some fizz with it as well. And some tea, of course. So that'll be really, really nice. And then in the evening, we're gonna have a Chinese takeout all together, which will be really nice. Too. We've got a Chinese style dining set where it's got like the little bowls and spoons and that. So we're gonna use that for our takeout as well. So it'll be a nice day today. I need to wrap up her presents, but it has snowed again overnight. So let me show you the snow because it has returned. So yeah, it's actually snowing at the moment. There's our Christmas tree. We really need to get rid of that. Snow, snow, snow. This is something my auntie got me. It's a sun catcher and it really sparkles. It's so pretty and I think of her every time I see it. But yeah, time to get on with wrapping up presents. So I'm just going to wrap up my mum's presents now. We've just got her a few things here. I've got her a laundry basket for her room. Um, I know that doesn't seem like a very exciting present to give someone, but with my mum, she kind of has everything. She doesn't really need things and doesn't ask for things, obviously, because she's not very well. So we just get her useful things um, a lot of the time. Things that she'll still like, like, for example, she loves this uh, Fresh Cut Roses Yankee Candle, which I've got her. She absolutely loves this candle so we get her candles quite a lot so they can be burning and they smell nice and she used to really love yankee candles but something she doesn't have in her room here is a laundry basket and this is going to come in really handy so we've got her one of those and then to go with that laundry basket just because it matches and i thought it was quite sweet I've got her this little cushion to go on her bed so it matches the laundry basket and I just thought it was quite sweet and happy like she is so yeah those are her presents and I'm wrapping up in this very Canadian wrapping paper <laughs> and yeah I've just been watching some YouTube videos um, So I've just been watching some YouTube videos this morning. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. The kind of ones, just kind of randomly browsing and I've been watching a load of ones which are like top 10 countries to move to in 2022, top 10 happiest countries in the world, things like that. And Canada comes up on every single one of those videos, which I was expecting that it probably would. But it just makes me feel so grateful and lucky that we actually live here. Sometimes I can't believe that we're actually here because we were planning it for so, so long. It was like five years that we were planning it and it just, it just felt like it was always something that was in the distance and not, you know, like something far away and that wasn't gonna be happening for a long time. And to actually be here now is I just can't believe how lucky we are, to be honest with you. And Rich was saying the other day that if he'd have known how easy it is to talk to people back home here. So a big thing about Rich wanting to wait until 2022 to move to Canada was because of leaving friends and family which is completely understandable because I can't, I knew I was coming here with my mum and dad, whereas he, all of his family and friends were at home. So yeah, a massive reason for Rich wanting to wait until 2022 was because of friends and family. But before he came out here, where have I put my tape decks? Before he came out here, he bought one of those Facebook portal tablets. So he got his parents, the one that goes on your TV, and then he got his friends, the tablet, and we have the tablet too. 
and he uses that to talk to his best friend back at home every single week and we use it to talk to his parents every week as well and he said to me the other day that if he'd have known that he'd had that if he if he'd have known that he would have that portal out here and how much he does speak to his friends and family back home and how easy it is he would have moved out here ages ago which was really nice to hear i mean he's absolutely loving it here and he said to me last night that he couldn't imagine living in england ever again and i mean we just really couldn't this is not meant in, as any shade towards england at all because it will always be where we came from but canada's home and i just i just can't wait for the rest of our life here and we're just so lucky and yeah it's just such an amazing country my mum always used to tell me how amazing it was when i was a kid uh, it was always kind of enforced into my brain <laughs> how amazing Canada was. <laughs> She'd always just talk about Canada in such a positive way and how much she loved it and how amazing things were over there. So I think I was destined to end up living here. And obviously when we used to come on family holidays, I loved it here so much. And yeah, I'm just feeling very grateful this morning that we're here and that this is home. So yeah. I've got one more present to wrap. I'm gonna do that now because I'm kind of rambling a little bit, as always. And yeah, then I need to clean up in the kitchen. Maybe start making some of the sandwiches up so that they're made. And then we'll probably get the birthday girl up. <laughs> oh gosh, Piper's biping. Piper's biping. <laughs> All right, I'll see you later. Bye. Also, I'm sorry about my little slippers that you can see in the background. I've just taken them off to wrap up my presents. Okay, see you in a bit. Bye. These are all wrapped up now. I'm ready to go. Just need to write the card. I feel like we have another present for her, but I can't find it, so maybe we don't. I know my dad has ordered her something which hasn't come yet, but I just wanted to switch the camera back on again because... I didn't say yet in this vlog, but I actually finished my job in the UK yesterday. So this is my first day of being unemployed because I've got a few days in between finishing my old job and starting my new job here in Canada. So yeah, it's a nice feeling. I've been at that company in the UK for over six years and I absolutely loved it. And initially I thought that I would want to continue working for them the whole time we were here in Canada which would be fully remote and obviously there's a time difference between Canada and the UK so I was logging on at about 5.45 in the morning here but as we got here and I started working remotely with them I realised that I didn't want to work for them full time out here you know I want to get into society and have a job here and experience new things and just have a new life whereas that was part of my old life in the UK so it didn't it just didn't feel right um, at all and yeah I was sad to leave because I've been there for so long my colleagues have been amazing that the company have been absolutely amazing to me but I was also excited to leave yesterday as well and to move on to something new and just start a completely new way of life whereas that was definitely something from my old life in the UK and it just didn't feel right doing it here in Canada so yeah on to new adventures and I'm gonna just enjoy these few days off until I start my new job so yeah I just wanted to mention that in here because that's obviously a big part of my life that's happened and yeah, just enjoying the time off today already. So it will be nice. And yeah, I wanna do YouTube still on the side of working full time here in Canada as well. So YouTube's gonna be like my part-time hobby. I'm really enjoying doing it so far. And as I've said in one of my videos, I've wanted to do YouTube for years. And I knew that I wanted to do a Canada channel like I, I wanted a Canada UK to Canada channel because we've been planning this for five years like back in 2018 when we first started planning it and talking about it and that 
there wasn't really stuff that I was going to be able to document for like five years on YouTube until we got to Canada, if you know what I mean. I felt like I could only really start filming content once we'd done our once we'd done our spousal application. So I'd started filming little clippets of that and ed edited them together recently and put them online. But yeah, I've wanted to do it for years and years. Canada's my passion and what I love and it just makes sense to dedicate my YouTube channel to Canada. And I just enjoy documenting it as well. And if nothing else, if nobody watches it, then that's fine. I have it and it's something that Richard and I can look back on and just remember how our move from the UK to Canada was and just having all of our memories to be able to watch. It will just be really nice. So yeah, that's me going off on a tangent again that had nothing to do with what I first came on here to talk about. But yeah, I just wanted to, I'm just chatting. I'm just chatting and trying to get better at this. So yeah, let's go do the kitchen and get my mum up. Bye. Hey, so my mum's now up. Birthday girl, she's over there. And I'm just whipping some cream for her cake. We realised we didn't have, we didn't obviously bring our electric whisk with us because it wouldn't work out here. So my dad's just gone out to get one of those along with the baking paper. Um, so that's why I'm doing this by hand at the moment. But I've made the sandwiches, let me show you them. I'll show you them all when they're out on the cake stands, but this is them in their little Bag. I've done egg mayo with microgreens as vegetarian one for me and cucumber and cream cheese as a vegetarian one for me and then my mum's favourite is smoked salmon and cream cheese so I've done smoked salmon and cream cheese and ham and egg for them as well and let's show, let me show you the table and how that's looking now so I've put her little Laura Ashley tablecloth that we bought from the UK with us on the table. These are her cake stands, which are also from the UK. And then we've got these really nice flowers, these hyacinths smell amazing. Though this one's kind of tipping a little bit because they get quite heavy, don't they? So I'll have to sort that out. But they just smell so nice. And yeah, I'm gonna load this up and get it looking all pretty with cake, sandwiches and scones. And yeah, it's gonna be really, really nice. I brought this really nice, um, these really nice floral plates with me from the UK, which were my mum's, and we want them to be like our dining set when we go to, when we get our own plow, plows, our own house here. So they're all packed away, which is a shame because they would have gone really nicely for this afternoon tea, but it will still be really nice. And yeah, I'm gonna carry on whipping. <laughs> fun, fun. And here's the birthday girl. Hi. Hi, mum. It's the birthday girl, yay! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> I like this. Oh, I see. Yeah, we're going to have some afternoon tea. You need to make your cake. Yeah. So I better get on with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could look happier about your birthday. <laughs> Let's carry on listening to some music then. This is quite funny about these little sandwich bags. They say Sainsbury's because they came in the shipping container in the UK. There's not a Sainsbury's out here in Canada, but yeah, I thought that was quite funny. A little essence of the UK there. <laughs> I've done it. The cream is whipped. My hands and arms are so sore now, <laughs> but I'm going to now cut the strawberries and that's all I can do until I get my scale and electric whisk because we realise we don't have our kitchen scales either. So yeah, let's cut the strawberries for the cake. Mm -hmm. 